Hi and welcome to Geeks for Geeks. Today we would be discussing the problem named as substrings of length k with k minus 1 distinct elements. So in this problem we are given a string s and an integer k and we need to count the number of substring which has exactly k minus 1 distinct characters. So what do we mean by this? Let us first understand this question in parts. The first part is that we need to count the number of substring. So let us first understand what is basically a substring. The substring is nothing but a contiguous part of the given part. Suppose we have A, B, C. So we can have A as a substring, A, B as a substring, A, B, C as a substring, B, C as a substring. Okay, these are all substring. But A, C is not a substring because it is not contiguous. Okay then C A is not a substring okay and B A is also not a substring why because they are contiguous but they are not in the same order as they are appearing in the original array okay so I hope you are clear with this that you just take a single segment out of the given one you don't change the ordering you take the contiguous part and that is a substring of a given string okay fair enough the next is distinct alphabets. So suppose we have A, A, B, C. So distinct alphabets is nothing but how many different alphabets are there? Like suppose we have alphabet A, we have alphabet B and we have alphabet C. So we can say that in this string of length 4, we have three distinct strings, three distinct alphabets that is A, B and C itself. Okay, fair enough. I hope you are clear with this. Now, let us move forward. So, we, here we have k is equals to 2. So, we need to consider the substrings. Okay. So, we can see that this substring. So, we need to find substrings of length 2. First is substring length would be equal to 2. And number of distinct would be 2 minus 1. That is 1. Why? Because we are told to find the k minus 1 distant characters. So, distant characters is 1 and length is equals to 2. So the only one that is appearing is this. Why? Because it has a length 2 and it has only one distant alphabet. That is why the output to this is 1 itself. Now here in this one, we can see that the length required is 3 and the distant alphabet is 2. So how many are there? So length is 3 that is A, A, B. If you observe, there are only two distinct alphabets that is A and B and the length is 3. So 1 and then 2, okay, just A, B and then 3, again A. So that is how we can say that this is it. So the first brute force approach that should come in our mind is that we need to simply consider all substring and then count the number of distinct characters and count distinct if it is equal to k minus 1 we would increment the answer and at the end we would return the answer now the question is how would we find the substring okay so to find all the substring a b c d e what we can do is we first go from a till a we have a then we go from a till b which is equal to a b then we go from A till C, which is nothing but A, B and C. Then we go from A till the value D, which is equal to A, B, C, D. And then we go again till the value of E, which is nothing but A, B, C, D, E. Okay, fair enough. And then in the next iteration, so we have found out all the substrings starting with A. Then we would again do the same thing for B. We would start the iteration with B and we would go till BB. So B. Next, we would move this pointer and we would go till this pointer which is equal to BC. And then we would again go till D which is equal to BCD. And then we would again go till E which is equal to BCDE. Okay, so if you observe that we have an outer pointer, suppose I, which is going to point at each of this and the next pointer which would go till I to last. So the for loop would be kind of like this. For I is equals to 0, I is less than N, 
n being the size of the string and then j would be nothing but i okay j is again less than n and then j plus plus so by doing this if you are considering from i to j you would find that all the substrings are being taken into consideration okay so what is the time complexity of this problem the time complexity of this problem to find all the substring is of course we are keeping so for the first character so for the first character how many substrings we have we have one two three four five we have five substring the second one we have four then three then two then one again for this also we would do the same kind of thing so we can say at the time complexity of finding all the substring is nothing but we go of n square and we would be able to do it if you observe in this we have considering different length of the substring okay but here the length of the substring is fixed that is exactly k less than k more than k equal to k at most k these are not given it is given exactly k or equal to k okay less than greater than at most these are all non mentioned so we need to care only about length substring of length k so if suppose k is equals to 3 that means this is not important 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 okay fair enough now let us see all the substring of length is equals to k suppose k is equals to 3 so let us see all the substring of size just k so from c we would have c d e and from d we won't have any substring till then we won't have from e also we don't have so if you observe that we have a finite very less number of substring of length exactly k and if you observe even more if you just i, I would if i just write it here then you would see a b c then we have b c d and then we have c d e so if you observe that the next substring the difference in the next substring is what d is coming in and a is going out e is coming in b is going out see a b c ke baad jo next consecutive substring hai usme pehla character bhag ja raha hai last character aa ja raha okay so you can see you can say that if i do something like this okay if i do something like this then the next substring would be like this okay next substring would be like this and this is nothing but a sliding window so this is the way or the intuition to get the idea that this problem is a sliding window let's see one more that suppose you are an intermediate person and you are not going from the brute force you directly want to come to this approach so there is a proper hint that we need to consider substring of length k so if it is a variable length you need to think in terms of other algorithms like two pointers and all but if the length of the substring to be considered is fixed then always think in terms of sliding window then move to other algorithms if sliding window is not the optimal one for that particular question so this was talking about the intuition and how would you get the idea or come to the conclusion the sliding window is being used so now let us move forward and see how can we use sliding window to solve this problem okay so now let us take the same example okay a a b a b okay we have a a b a b so what we can do is we would first have a count counter so a is equals to 0 b is equals to 0 so this is a very cunning approach just see what i am trying to do so first we would count all the characters in a and b okay first we would go to a a's value is 0 initially and now we are going to 1 so this means that if the value after incrementing is 1 okay that means we are seeing the value first time matlab hai batata hu okay suppose suppose the idea that i have no friends and now after doing friendship i have one friend it means that earlier i didn't have friend because friendship karne ke baad bhi ek hi friend bacha hai this means that only one friend is there and earlier i didn't have friends so if after hashing if after counting the value the value becomes one this means that earlier it doesn't have any value this means this is the first time we are seeing a so we would say that distinct number of distinct alphabets is one now then we go to a 
सो दिस टाइम वी हैव टू सो दिस मीन्स मतलब पहले भी कुछ होगा तभी हैशिंग करने के बाद टू हुआ वी कैन से दैट नेक्स्ट वी गो टू बी सो नाउ आफ्टर इंक्रीमेंटिंग बी टू वन दिस मीन्स दैट आफ्टर इवन आफ्टर हैशिंग द वैल्यू स्टिल वन दैट मीन्स पहले उसके पास तो कुछ था ही नहीं ना अगर मैंने किसी को दस रुपये दिए और उसके बाद उसका बैंक बैलेंस दस ही है इसका मतलब क्या उसके पास पहले पैसे थे ही नहीं सेम गोज हेयर If after hashing one value of b, we are getting the balance as one. This means earlier didn't have any value. Didn't have any value means it is the first time we are seeing this b. So we would increment the value of b. So now we have the number of distinct alphabets as two. Okay. Now first we would just check after this point that if the number if the number of distinct value is equal to k minus one, we would increment the count. And here k is equal to three. k is equals to three, so yes, count is now equal to one. In the next iteration, so earlier what was the value? A is equals to two and B is equals to one. Just keep those hashed value, and this is the answer variable. Now we need to insert A and remove A. First we would remove this A. How would we remove this A? We would just have here minus one, and now again we would add this value. We would go to A and we would again add the value one, which is now equal to two. Fair enough. Now we again have two a and b one. We have that. Now let us see again if we are again having the count now of distinct characters as two. Yes, distinct characters again two. So one plus one. In the next iteration, we need to hash. We need to hash this value, and we need to remove this value. So now let us remove this value also. Okay. Removing this value means a minus one that is one. Two minus one is equals to one. Add b. This means one plus one that is equals to two now. So now again the distant value is two, which is equal to k minus one. So again plus one. And if you observe, this is it. And in the same way, I would just tell you. Suppose this is b, and earlier b was equal to one. And now if we remove this b after removal, the value becomes zero. This means that distant is gone. Okay. मतलब आई एम ट्राइंग टू से दिस अगेन विद द रिस्पेक्ट ऑफ द सेम बैंक बैलेंस एग्जांपल ओके सपोज आपने जो पैसे दिए थे वो आपने ले लिए आपने दस रुपये मेरे अकाउंट में डिपॉजिट किए एंड वो आपने ले लिए लेने के बाद मेरा बैंक बैलेंस जीरो हो गया मतलब अब मैं फिर से बिना पैसे के हो गया सेइंग दिस इन इंग्लिश एज दैट सपोज वी आर इन अ बैंक एंड यू हैव गिवन मी फिफ्टी रुपीज एंड यू देन अगेन टेक इट बैक and then i'm again left with the balance zero so even after decrementing the value is zero this means that this is not a distinct value we need to subtract the value of distinct so please keep this in mind that after incrementing if the value is one this means the distinct value is plus plus after decrementing if the distinct value is equal to zero that means distinct minus minus okay paisa dene ke baad bank balance wahi raha matlab pehle ye garib tha ab ameer hua okay वो जो पैसा दे दिए थे वो ले लेने के बाद मतलब फिर से गरीब हो गया फिर से डिस्टेंट वाले को माइनस कर दो ओके नाउ लेट अस मूव टू द इंप्लीमेंटेशन एंड यू वुड गेट अ बेटर आइडिया ऑफ दिस ओके सो फर्स्ट वी वुड टेक आउट द साइज ऑफ द स्ट्रेंथ ओके फॉर सिंप्लिसिटी एज डॉट साइज ओके एंड देन दिस इज द काउंटर वेरिएबल विच वुड काउंट द नंबर ऑफ आंसर एंड देन वी वुड हैव अ वेक्टर ऑफ इंट ऑफ साइज 26 with initialized value as zero, and next we would have the distinct variable as zero because initially the number of distinct variables is equal to zero. Next we would start the iteration from i to less than k, okay? I and k plus plus. मतलब पहले zero से लेके k तक का सारा value hash कर लेंगे, okay? So we have f of s of i minus the value of a. We hash this, okay? And you can directly use a map if you are not understanding why I am doing this minus a, okay? And then if f of s of i, same thing. अगर after incrementing the value is one, that means earlier the value was zero, so distant plus plus. नया character मिला भाई. And we have this after coming back after zero to k is hashed up. We have if number of distant alphabets. Is equal to equal to k minus one. Then we would have c plus plus. Now what we would do is suppose this is a b c d e f, and we already have hashed the value of a b c. 
now we would have a pointer here we would have a pointer here we would add this we would remove this we would add this we would we would remove this and this same thing we would do so we would have a pointer int left int left is equals to zero and we would have a pointer in right is equals to k okay now we would say while right is less than n itself okay then f of s of left minus the value of a and then first we would decrement the value on the left hand side and after decrementing it becomes zero that means a distant value ka value minus ho jayega so if f of this equals to equals to the value zero that means distant minus minus okay after this point we have distant plus plus and then we say if after incrementing the same thing again okay after incrementing if this value becomes one we would have distant plus plus and then again we would check after each window if distant is equals to equals to k minus one that means we would increment the count after all this is done left plus plus and right plus plus dono aage badega by one position and then we return the value of c itself now let us just compile and run and see how many errors i am making okay so i just copied it but this would be left yeah so yeah this is because of this copying part okay so the small mistake that is being done here is this is the left value and this is the right value so instead of hashing we are just hashing the same right value again and again so this would be right and this would be the same right itself okay so hope this is clear now let us just compile and run again and see how many errors are we making we are getting correct output for the sample test case now let us try to submit this and see if we can get an ac or not and yes we got an ac so if you are here till this point of the solution consider liking the video and commenting on the video for better reach of this video thank you and have a nice day